Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today we are going to learn how to make uh, a fruit basket. First of all, I'm creating a sphere. I'm changing the size for the sphere, the scale. I'm increasing the uh, subdivision. I want to make them 30. I'm going to front, selecting faces with control on deleting these faces. I'm coming back here. I'm selecting all the faces and then I'm hitting on extrude. Keep faces together off. And now I'm going to the face that contain this controller. I'm clicking on this cube to adjust the scale. I'm adjusting the rotation also. For me, this is good. And then before I hit on anything, I'm still on extrude. I'm hitting control with delete again. Then I'm reselecting these faces Clicking on extrude again. Going to this face. Now I'm hitting on this arrow to make an extrude outside. And now I'm selecting these two faces from here. And these two faces from here. And now I'm, I'm hitting on bridge. I'm creating a bridge between them, between them, to create the basket handle. I'm increasing the subdivision. Of course, I want to make the source positive and the target positive. I'm increasing the tab a little or decreasing, decreasing the tower. And now I have the basket. I can select the basket and then hit on a tree to make it smooth and to make it uh, more attractive. Now I'm going to make a model for the knife. I created a cube and now I'm adjusting the scale. I'm selecting this phase. I'm clicking on extrude. I'm changing the face size, the face size. I'm hitting on the extrude again, or G to repeat the, the last order. Okay, and now I'm going to vertex to add the handle for the knife. Now I'm going to 3D modeling to mesh tool to insert edge loop to add a subdivision, multiple. Here, um, I want to create a 20. And here, I'm creating, adding 10. I'm going to the top now. And I'm selecting the vertex. I'm selecting these, then I'm putting them back. Of of course, also these, and we will make them as you see, or move them as you see. And here, also.
deselecting these. I want to make a bevel for them. As I said, I don't want to make a bevel for these. I want to make sure. I need to select these and these. And this I, this, I don't want to be with them. And now I'm hitting on level. I'm going back to the top. I'm selecting these vertex. Now I'm selecting is subdivision. I'm changing the scale for them to make the knife sharp from here. So I hit on three now. And now I know I um, I have the knife, but it still needs some fixing. I'm going to the top to vertex again, vertices. Coming back here, I'm using the scale to make them close together to each other. Okay, now it's better. I'm going to the top again. I'm selecting these. And now I have the knife. I'm now going to start creating the uh, fruits. For example, the banana. I'm going to the uh, Here inside channel box, I want to increase the subdivision for the height. And then I'm going to use the, inside the former, the bend. I'm increasing the curvature. That's, that is, this will be enough, good for me. Now I'm selecting this vertex. Drag and then outside. Also this. And now I'm selecting this object. I'm clicking here to only display this object. After I finish, I will return the thing back. Also inside this, I'm hiding everything beside this model. I'm using the multi cut one, two, three, and here one. 
I'm selecting this where it is moving it's here. Also this vertex I'm putting it back here. Okay, now I will be also in vertex. I need to move these edges down. Okay, then I'm selecting these edges. I'm clicking on bevel. I'm selecting these also. Okay. I'm selecting these faces. I'm deselecting these. I'm hitting on extrude again. Adding bevel here also. And now I have a banana. Also, I'm creating another food, for example, an apple. I'm, to, I'm using the soft selection. I'm reducing the volume, for example, for two, one. Now, I need to reduce it more. Okay, and down here. Point three will be better. I'm creating another cylinder. I'm going back to channel box to increase the subdivision. I'm going back to the form. Previous bend again. I'm cleaning the history. I'm selecting faces. Disabling the sub the soft selection by pressing on B. Deleting these faces. I'm selecting the object mode. And now I'm having an apple. I need to reduce the scale a little to make it more realistic. And now I'm having an apple. I'm now going to create a model for a beer, for example. 
I'm going to use the soft selection again. One, one point half. Okay. I'm now selecting the edges, reducing the volume for point half, for example. I'm pressing one three. Okay. I'm duplicating this. Now I have uh, banana, apple, pear. I can add more. But this is enough for me. I want to put uh, to uh, uh, show the other models I created by pressing back on this. I select one and press to hide everything else. And this is for this is how to create a model for a food basket. And now you can arrange the food inside it. Put the knife also, make a duplication for the knife. You can add all of them inside the basket. That's it for today and thank you.